This one? cell phones before the liturgy begins. A second collection for the renovation of the church will immediately follow our regular collection. The St. Francis community would like to recognize all the students who have recently graduated from high school or college and ask you please to wear your cap to receive a graduation blessing next weekend. Beginning Saturday, June 5th, Health Services of San Diego will be here at St. Francis to administer the COVID-19 vaccinations from 9 to 3.30. No appointments are needed. At the time of your appointment, you will be given a card that automatically schedules you for your second shot. Any questions, please call the parish office. On Thursday, June 10th, the 7 p.m. evening mass will be canceled due to the confirmation mass with Bishop, Bishop McElroy. St. Francis of Assisi School is looking for a part-time teacher to teach Spanish to grades 6, 7, and 8. Applicants must be bilingual and have prior classroom teaching experience. If you are interested in applying, please call the school office or email Mrs. Joseph. Your health and safety are our priority. Please wear face coverings at all times and practice social distancing while on church premises. Due to the situation we are undergoing, we ask you please do not move the chairs. Please keep them on their place to guarantee a healthy distance. It is our moral and spiritual duty to protect and look after one another during this very difficult time. Please be sure to take home a copy of the bulletin or visit our parish website at St. Francis of Assisi Vista for more information regarding the announcements just made and activities at our parish. Please stand for the prayer of St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen
in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may confirm the hearts of those born again by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. They said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky. 
and so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we shall be scattered over all the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. The Lord said, If now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down there and confuse their language so that not one will understand what another says. Thus the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them over all the earth, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to be God. God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. Not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones 
according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to be God. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the Spirit, that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, now a spirit yet, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
It's uh, very interesting that today is my second, believe me, my second English mass since I came here <laughs> on Sunday. But that's okay. I feel like I saw you every time, sort of, because three years ago I was here with Father Min, I was doing the masses, but now because Father Shima is not doing Spanish, so he had to do English. That's fine. I can sacrifice myself. So today we're celebrating Pest Pentecost Day, but I love also the first reading that said, the whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. And that part of the first reading really made me so happy. And I was feeling the hope I received this time of the pandemic, 2020, 2021. As a priest, as a priest, when I was in San Marcos, I remember the pandemic started. And I was in San Marcos serving there as a priest. And also, I was in my transition to become a diocesan priest. But the pandemic started like a February, exactly almost in my birthday. It was very sad because of that. But I saw people with a lot of stress, a lot of sadness, despair, disappointment. People calling to our office because they wanted the anointing of the sick, because they wanted the priest to come to my house to anoint my mom, my son, my daughter, my grandmother. I remember that time I was devastated as a priest. And I was praying so hard. And I was saying to Jesus, you know, we cannot go there. But please, save them, cure them, heal them. And this time of the pandemic, I think, I was praying to the Holy Spirit a lot. And I feel it. Very, very, really, very emotional time. And I, I remember I was praying for my window in my room because we didn't celebrate Mass in the church. So I was doing my Masses every day from my, from my little living room in San Marcos in the rectory. And I was, you know, extending my hands and doing the Mass like this the whole time from my window. And I remember I saw the temple in front of me, San Marcos Church. I saw the temple, San Marcos. And I was praying like this, and I was looking to the sky and said, I know that you, Jesus, from here, from my mass, in my room, you can go and touch each person outside here in San Marcos Church. And believe me, I was looking to Vista too. Don't be jealous. But this is a time when the Holy Spirit really is in us. The Spirit, Holy Spirit was working in us. We were speaking the same language, all of us. We were speaking the same language. We we're looking for the same hope that this pandemic can stop. I saw a lot of solidarity with people saying to me, Father, thank you for praying for my mom. Thank you. I was doing calls, doing anointing by call. We cannot do that, but I made my own. I called into the hospital to people and doing the anointing, the, the prayer, actually, the prayer. Because I know that Jesus can go there through my voice and heal them and save them. The same language we spoke this time. And I know the Holy Spirit was working on us. God gave us this year to all of us to be closer. Six feet, of course, but in our families to be closer to love one another more than ever before, to spend time with your kids, to call the people you love, call them. And I remember calling my parents in Mexico. I said, I haven't been there for a year or more. But calling them, I was feeling the Holy Spirit working through the phone, going there. And I was telling Jesus, I will do your job here but take care of my parents and my brothers and sisters and my family. This is the time when the Holy Spirit gave us the opportunity to really use him and to pray for those people who need us. I'm sure many people in your neighborhood, they were despair waiting to go to the market, but God put them in front of us that you can be a kind person and say, you know, neighbor, I can do it for you. I'm going to the groceries, and I will bring something for you because I know you cannot go out from your house, maybe because you are sick, or maybe because you age, 
Oh, maybe because of Kobe. Anyway, but I want to be the person bringing you something from the store. God in this time gave us too many opportunities to show people that we are baptized and we have the Holy Spirit and He lives in us. You and I were Christians, we're Catholics, and the Holy Spirit is in us through our baptism. We are celebrating today Pentecost Day, yes. But remember, the same language we're supposed to speak is love. That's the only language that God speaks very clear to us. It's love, care, mercy, compassion. And he said to his disciples, because he knew them very well, I had to go to my father's house. But please, Peter, please, John, Love one another, because I know you guys. God is telling us today too. love one another and bring my love, my spirit to every people you will look in the streets. Bring me to your homes. Bring me to your families. Bring me to your house, your neighbors, to the church, to your work. Pentecost 2021, the Holy Spirit is still moving in the world. We think we we're in charge of this, but we are not. The pandemic leaves us in a different way. God is in charge of us in the world too. God is in charge of everything. Let us still continue praying for one another. And remember, the Holy Spirit works through us. There is somebody, somebody else maybe need you, need your help. Maybe there is somebody else, a friend, or member of your family, who needs a call from you to say, I love you, to say, I miss you, to say, I want to listen to you today. Let us bring this beautiful hope and love to all those who don't never have a call from somebody else, or the ones they are always alone. Because you and I, we have to be full of the Holy Spirit to bring those pieces of beautiful love that God gave us. That's why we are alive. And let us still continue for all our parish, for they receive always the Holy Spirit through us. Jesus gave us this beautiful uh, scripture of the gospel that we can bring to all those people who need him. Don't be quiet. Move. Let us the Holy Spirit to bring you to everywhere that he wanted you and me to go. Amen. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was encountered the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to just the living and dead and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism of forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of death and life for the world to come. Amen. The Holy Spirit manifests Christ to us, recalls his words, and opens our minds to the Paschal mystery. Rejoicing in the same spirit, we pray. That the Holy Spirit, who makes present the mystery of Christ, will reconcile all people and bring them into communion with God and his church. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the peoples of the world who do not know God, that the spirit of truth proclaimed to every nation may indeed renew the face of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this community gathered by God, that the spirit who makes holy our Eucharistic gifts may strengthen and refresh us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the homebound and the sick. Gaudencio Garcia Conseco, Myra Gonzalez, Dennis Easterling, Bo Michael Gillian, Ramiro Ahumada, Jacqueline Jacobo, and for their caregivers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our faithful departed, Juan Gonzalez, Elvira Martinez Martinez, and Mary Smith, may they rest forever in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Jim Colucci, the Edward Schatz family, and Frank Cooksley Jr. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for those intentions we carry in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Pray. Loving God, you send us the Holy Spirit the breath of love. We pray for the grace to be open to the gift of the spirits. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of the sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift it at your heart. We lift them up into the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you may you adopt the children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit that the church came to birth opened all the peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with Pascha joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelical hosts sings together an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the Father of holiness, make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which we give in us for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, 
that are partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, and spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection, and who have your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her espoused, with the blessed apostles, Saint Francis, Saint Claire, San Diego, and all the saints who have preached to the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs and alive, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, that will be done on earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church, in graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with the will, who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
I know that I didn't uh, celebrate many Sunday masses because I was doing Spanish, but I just want to announce because I have to announce to you guys are my community too. Uh, this coming June 20, 19th and 20th will be my last masses in San Francis. I'm moving as a pastor in in, uh, in Las Vegas. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> now I'm moving as a pastor in downtown San Diego in Our Lady on Angels. It's a beautiful church, very old one, and it's a beautiful place. So and I'm excited, a little scared too, it's normal. <laughs> I would be my first party as a pastor. But uh, I invite you to pray for me, please. Um, I will stay here, but I have the Spanish master for the next Sundays. Father Chima's on vacation, and he's watching us now. Father Chima, we meet you. So, but I will be here until the 28th, but I need that a little few days for meetings in my new church and also to pack and get ready to move. So my last Sunday Mass will be the 19th, Saturday, and June the 20th. But I, I wanna say we're happy here in San Francisco, a beautiful community. Uh, I know they work a lot with the Hispanic community, but I know many of you come to the morning Masses every day, and uh, we became like a family in the morning. So, and I'm always excited for the new things that God gave me to me. And uh, today I'm supposed to announce, but I don't have Spanish mass, but I, they will maybe see by the English mass and announcing then my last day will be June 20th and, and the 19th and the 20th. Thank you so much for your love and your love for the priests. And I uh, love also the new priests are coming. I don't know who's coming, but I'm sure that we have another priest for this mission that we have in San Francis. And God bless you, and happy Pentecost Day to all of you. Let us pray. May this kid we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same spirit whom you wondrously pure out in your apostles, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is sended. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a beautiful day. Please, minister, please come forward.